Gretchen, to start, you are the Holly to my Michael. <laughs> you are the June to my John and the sissy to my bud. I have long said that I remember the first time I met you. It's become a long running joke, but I will admit that I do not remember our first meeting or the first time I saw you. But I do remember our first date, our second and our third, when you made us define our relationship <laughs> or what it was and where it was going. I remember shortly afterwards when you decided you loved me in the Taco Bell parking lot while I sang, How Deep Is Your Love by the Bee Gees. It was in that moment for me that I decided that I loved you more than the Pittsburgh Steelers. I remember so many adventures, laughs, and loving moments that I feel like I have known you for as long as I thought I did. I have a confession that I did not actually need you to teach me Spanish over the phone. <laughs> I just wanted to talk to you. I wanted to because you were the most caring, loving, genuine, and most importantly, godly woman I've ever met. I am not as humble, patient, kind, loving, or joyous as I should be. I'm a sinner who will fail you many times, and I am undeserving of your love as much as Christ's love. But I promise this now, that despite my flaws and failures, I will love Christ more than you and myself, and fully depend on him to keep us together in love and in spirit. And because of this, I will love you better each day through my actions and prayers. I will never shy away from declaring my faith or the gospel of Jesus Christ, and I know you will stand with me. You have my heart and my hand forever. I vow to honor you and to respect you as the leader, provider, and head of our marriage and family. And I vow to strive each day to fulfill my biblical role as a wife, that I would create a house of love and honor for God the Father and for you. I promise to seek understanding of your feelings and intentions when we face controversy. I vow to defend you, to stand by you, and care for you no matter what comes. I vow to be bold and obedient in the face of trials so that we may honor God and each other through our words and actions. I vow loyalty to you and you alone. By God's grace, I will give grace, and by his strength, I will have patience. I promise to always need you, to always seek your help and strength in my weakness, and to always love you. Above all else, I commit myself to you as your wife that we may be stronger in ministry together than apart, and that we may serve God, each other, and others for the rest of our lives. Devin and Gretchen, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Devin, you may kiss your bride. It is my absolute honor to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Devin Fisher.
that's pretty awful. <laughs> Devin truly, every day, every day seeks to know Jesus more. The bond and the love of Christ and, and how you guys are, are really joined through that is just something that's, that's so special and you just need to keep doing that. The past 22 years have been the sweetest time of my life and I can't wait to watch you both grow in this new chapter together. Just this past Monday I had gone over to their new apartment. We were talking, I asked him if he was nervous for today, and he said no. I said, well, what are you feeling? And he said, not good enough. And I, that just, that hit me, and Devin, I gotta tell you, you, you deserve every bit of this. You 100% deserve it. I look up to her and strive to be as good a Christian as she is. So many times throughout this wedding planning process and our showers that our wonderful friends have given her, she says how she doesn't deserve any of this, but Christian, yes you do. You are one of the most wonderful people that I know. Can everyone raise their glass, please, to Mr. and Mrs. Devin Fisher. A toast to love, laughter, and happily ever after. Cheers. Cheers, cheers. Well, First of all, thank you all for being here. It, this means so much to Gretchen and I. Um, I am a blessed man, and uh, I have so many friends and family that I could thank, and I sure probably won't get to all of you, but I just know that I love you all. Um, so one of the things that uh, Gretchen knows about me and that we share is that we both love music. She loves listening to the music. I love playing it and, and, and she's grown on, on a lot of the old stuff that I enjoy. Um, and so my favorite song of all time is Ain't No Mountain High Enough. Okay? I think it's the greatest song ever written. And uh, if, if I'm going to give Gretchen a gift, I think that it should be the song that I value the most. So, uh, but I can't do it alone. I need a large, sexy black man to come help me. So Tyree, come on up here, baby. Listen, baby, ain't no mountain high, ain't no valley. 